5 Alpha team. Destiny 343 Bungie Soon these two companies and these two games will be at a never ending comparison in war. Whether those two companies want it to happen or not, it's gonna happen. And this is my introduction and my summary, I guess, to a series of videos that's gonna happen in the future once Halo 5 comes out about my take on how things happen and how things are gonna go, I guess. So this video, I guess, is going to be a summary of just how I feel about what happened and what's going to happen. So, first of all, I guess I want to say is that Microsoft messed up in a way. Well, I think they just messed up because I believe that if Microsoft didn't get greedy and didn't get, I guess, uh, you're in the lead, lost the lead, and didn't, I guess you could say they disrespected Bungie in a sense. They, if they didn't disrespect Bungie then none of what is happening would have happened because rather than having Bungie in your corner you turned them into a direct enemy that is helping Sony develop their controllers either Bungie helped uh, Sony develop their controllers to be more compatible to be easier to use with first person shooters and you wouldn't have a direct competition with Halo well, there wouldn't be a Halo, but you'd have another juggernaut in place of Halo called Destiny that would be an Xbox exclusive. And I believe if Destiny was an Xbox exclusive, it would be a much different, much more complete game than what you see now. Because a lot of things that are missing from Destiny right now, I believe, are only missing because they had Activision in their air. Afraid that what Bungie foresaw Destiny being wouldn't be well received by the masses. Because I believe Destiny was supposed to be much more RPG based than what it is now. But instead of being a much more RPG based game that is a first person shooter, Heavy ammo available. Uh, Activision wanted the game to be a first person shooter that had RPG elements. And those are these are two very different games. What Bungie is or what Destiny is right now is a first person shooter. RPG elements where you can just level up, level things up, and get new abilities. Whereas I believe if, if it was a first-person or er, uh, RPG with first-person shooter elements, it would be much more story-driven, have a much more detailed character development. Uh, and character creation process you know, it would be a totally better game because right now it has incomplete pieces of both elements rather than heavy on one and just good on another because if you look at the type of games that Bungie first made, they made games like Labyrinth, games where that were pretty RPG like. Like their first games weren't first person shooter games. They were role playing games. And I believe Destiny was supposed to be like the culmination of everything that Bungie worked on in the past brought into one game. But, people didn't think that would be well received. 
So Activision said, no, 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 the people don't want that. People want Call of Duty. Look how much Call of Duty is selling. Make a game more first-person shooter based and just add, just throw all of that RPG stuff on top of it. But to us, like, if you say so, I guess we'll do it. Which is pretty messed up because these, like, hands all in their work is pretty much what they're trying to get away from when they left Microsoft. The only difference is Microsoft didn't really tell them how to make their game, they more told them what game to make. Now, Activision is letting them make whatever the hell they want. They're just putting their hands into the art of Bungie and not letting them do what they want to do. That's why if you look at Bungie, if you follow Bungie closely, you'll see that a lot of their developers that you see in Bungie, a lot of the old head original developers, they're not there. Heavy ammo available. But uh But yeah. On to Halo. Because Halo is in a predicament of Because Halo isn't Halo anymore. Halo is a game with the Halo title that's a totally different first person shooter. Because the only reason that Halo name is on that game is for the cash. For no other reason. I don't think 343 really cared about making a Halo game. I just think they wanted to make something to get their names out there. And their opportunity came into being making a Halo. Only five minutes left. But if you look at that game. It has the story has nothing to do with what the Halo story originally was. You're falling behind. Uh the mechanics are a lot different, the gameplay is a lot different. I mean it's just it's not the Halo. Like they put that Halo name on it, they stuck it on it. And, and doing that, I believe Microsoft made a big mistake. Because now, Halo 4 was crap, let me just say that first of all. Halo 4 was the worst Halo game ever made. There were more people playing Halo Reach, a game that wasn't well received by the Halo community. But as people started to play it more, they began to like it. But there were more people playing Halo Reach than Halo 4. A couple of months into Halo 4. That shouldn't be happening. But now, since you put that Halo name on that product, you are in direct competition with what anything Bungie puts out. Because anything that Bungie puts out, Or anything that 343 puts out called Halo, it's gonna be immediately compared to with anything that Bungie puts out. Whether it should happen or not, once you have 343 make that game called Halo, you automatically get it to them. Like they have no choice but to accept those comparisons, whether they're warranted or not. Heavy ammo on the way. So the crucible is not a challenge. If to Halo be 5 on. does not beat Halo. Or does not, if Halo 5 does not compare well with Destiny, then Microsoft and 343 just lost that bet that they made. This was the first video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd love for you to comment on your opinions. Peace.